You know, and I feel like now, you know, with Backstreet Boys, we've been so blessed that it's been able to allow us to open the doors to many other avenues we can explore. And this, for me, after having a family, my kids inspired me to make this. The Beat 92.5. Um, we're here to actually talk about a really awesome project that you're doing for young kids and families. Yep. It's called Which One Am I? Yes. Uh, the song No Hablo Espanol came out in May, I believe. That's right. And your son plays a younger version of you back yes. then. It's really fun and colorful, but it does talk about the struggles. The struggles that we go through as a child trying to find our identity, who we truly are, and accepting ourselves. Exactly. Why was it important for you to open up about the struggles that you had as a child and to, to send a message out there that it's okay to be who you truly are? Well, it was exactly what you said. It was, it was important to me to be able to, if I can touch, you know, not only my own kids, um, and but, to, uh, you know, help uh, maybe reach out to other kids out there that might be struggling with trying to find out who they are and being accepted and you know especially nowadays in society where there's so much bullying happening and and um, you know just be able to make them realize that we're all human beings mm -hmm. we all should you know have love for each other and compassion we all have our different challenges we all have our different strengths um, and our weaknesses but it's about how you deal with them, how you get through it, you know, and, and are able to talk about it. So this album was very therapeutic to me, and believe it or not, you know, it was loosely based around my 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 childhood uh, issues that I dealt with, everything from being shy to worrying to feeling height challenged mm -hmm. um, to the song, like you said, No Habla Español, which loosely dealt with uh, what I went through as a kid, struggling with finding my identity because my mother was Hispanic mm -hmm. and she married an Irish Scottish American. And in our household as a little kid, we never spoke, Eng I mean, we never spoke Spanish. We only spoke English. Right. Because um, it was that generation in America where a lot of the, the, the families coming from other countries, they were trying to make sure their kids were American. Yeah. No accents. And so I didn't know Spanish, but as as uh, I would always be around Latin communities, I obviously, as you can see, I look a little bit more yeah. Hispanic than I do at Irish Scottish. Yeah. And so, so you're like, I don't speak the language. Yeah. So they would always yeah. come to me and speak. So, but out of that, it's funny because when I've dealt with this song and and it's been out there, I've had so many adults that have come to me and said, "You're exactly right. There was that generation where you know it just wasn't like you were. We were trying to fit into a culture, mm -hmm. right? And to not be uh, you know segregated or discriminated, right?" And uh, nowadays, a lot of those, you know, people just like myself are really wishing that they didn't have, you know, had to go through that because uh, that second was language, more of an open mind. Yeah, yeah, second language for anybody is so great to have. It just opens up so many more opportunities. Yeah, I find that your album actually opens up the conversation because you can actually listen to the album with your kids and you touch on different things, like you said, bullying, and it just opens up the conversation to have with them and say, well, this happens in life. How do you deal with it? And I think exactly. that's really important. Thank you. So where can we get your album and where can we hear your songs if uh, we're so looking to do that? So the CD is out now. Okay. Um, for anything and everything uh, that fans want to know about me, what I'm doing, um, HowieD.net is always the best source. Uh, we're selling it here at the venues, but it's also online through all the, uh, the Spotify's and all those different things out there, iTunes, um, as well as it's in certain stores. Um, but also the musical, what's been inspired by it? is also coming out in uh, end of next January into early uh, February. Okay. Uh, the CD actually inspired me to make a musical about this journey of this boy growing cool. up. And I'll be performing and I'll be starring in it. What? And premiering and, and it's in Omaha, Nebraska at the Rose Theater. Oh, that's going to uh, be fun. Last weekend of January into the first two weekends of February. That is awesome. You yeah. keep on challenging yourself. Congratulations. I that's great. To. You know, and I feel like now, you know, with Black Backstreet Boys, we've been so blessed that it's been able to allow us to open the doors to many other avenues we can explore. Floor. And this for me, after having a family, my kids inspired me to make this. Right. And also the fans out there inspired me because now they're bringing their kids to our concert. That's it. <laughs>